busy little place here. Got cars flying by me. Look at this guy right here. See him? He's a little fuzzy back there. I love this camera. I really wish I could bring this camera on the trail with me. Uh, I cannot, unfortunately. But look how beautiful it is. I mean, the dark colors, the lighting is perfect. Oh man, if I, if I had a smaller microphone that didn't cost as much money, I would totally bring this camera. So here's the crew setting up behind me right back there. We're getting ready to get out, unpack, do a little stretching, and hit the trail, man. I'm excited about it. This is going to be a fun time. we got seven people in this group, so it's just going to be a really, really wonderful, nice time. Look at this guy. He's excited to see you. He's with us. What are you doing? It's okay. What are you doing? Be careful. Hey. Hi. How are you? <laughs> okay. Okay. We told you, we told you, we told you, we told you. We told you. Test, test, one, two, test, test. All right, we've got newcomer. Porter, the cable man, the cable guy. All right, thank you, man. What about this guy right here? Hey. hey, how's it going? Can you tell me apart? We've got on the same pants, I think. I don't even know where I'm from. Are we, are we doing it again? We're doing it again. Are we doing it again? It's happened. <laughs> so if you don't know what we're referring to, you can actually check out this link right here. Right there. I think that's where it goes. And uh, you'll know why we're doing it again. Yeah, yeah. come on here, small we were, uh, oh, this is kind of funny. Oh, God. Oh, it's a challenge. challenge. Uh, who are we missing, Troy? Ah. Right. Um, there's room over. Oh, you got it. No, no. no. By the way, missing... <laughs> so, uh, what about me? What about me? Hey! I'm missing a Troy head back there. He's... Troy, he's, he's right there. He's, he's there. there. He's, he's in it. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 There oh. I am. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm watching Jason. I'm oh, right. right. looking up. Hey, hey, arms up get over. I can't even tell. There you go. Is that everybody? Yeah! Kiss the Yeah! I'm here! I was gonna say tension. You don't have tension here. Ah. Yeah. Oh yeah, slide on. We're all in here. Hey guys. You're not a real so man until we you get a Dave selfie. Matthew. Midnight hole. You're right. Midnight hole. I thought that was just a nickname. That's what Troy likes to call it. Well, what about Swallow Fork? Here we are. Big Creek down. Trail. Getting ready to do it. Big guys trip, 2018. Uh, we're going to go Big Creek Trail, head to the Midnight Hole. All right, let's go. Jason, you're not allowed to go. Trout, I'll take it. I was going to say we're going to have to let you off your leash. So here we are, starting off on the very first trail. We're already going uphill, which is pretty much what today's all about. As a light, gradual uphill. Tomorrow we're gonna go straight uphill, and uh, pretty much let's just consider this an uphill battle.
So as I'm hiking here, I wanted to point out Jason's pack. This is the My Trail 50 Cuban Fiber Pack. You can see how it rides on smooth on Jason's back. Meant for a load of 25 to 30 pounds. For a nice ease, it's easy ride up the trail. Well, Jason here is hauling about 36 pounds in it. Because <laughs> beer drinkers, you know, mm -hmm. they're dedicated to their craft. Right. <laughs> but it is a nice looking pack. Let's see the front of that thing real quick. How's it feel? It feels great. Good. You like it? it? Feels awesome. Good, man. It looks it looks stylish. Real smooth looking. Awesome. Can't wait to test the durability on this trip. <laughs> exactly. We're going to do a little comparison of uh, packs. This is the new Osprey Exos pack. You can see how it's riding on the back of Tube Sock. That's right. He loves that nickname. Tube Sock is hauling, hauling a uh, weight of 30 pounds. And that is the Exos 58, correct? Yep, and no brain, so I've still got a lot of room to go. It's a no-brainer, he says. Say it again. <laughs> I have no brain. <laughs> kind of so, like the Tin Man. So you took the brain off to save a little weight. Oh, it's a scarecrow that don't have a brain. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I took the brain off, well, saved some weight, and I we, just didn't need the space. Well, and we'll see if we have a heart uh, as we're trying to hike up. Uh, we do. In our, uh, <laughs> 120 right now. Well, hey, that's good. Got a nice heart rate going. Yeah. So how do you feel about the Exos backpack so, so far? Love it. So I came from an Amazon pack before. No real frame in it or anything. And this thing is like a Cadillac. Nice. Where I go, it goes. Nice. As opposed to it rolling around on your back. Here, we have the Gregory Optic. The Gregory Optic 58 2018. They went head to head with the Osprey brand. Old Troy is rocking the op Optic. Yep. How are you doing, Troy? I'm doing awesome. So you've, we've walked about what? Maybe tenth of a mile. Tenth of a mile? Yeah. How does this thing feel on you so far? Oh man, oh, it's like a Porsche. Is, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Feels good? Yeah, it's got the air suspension, but it's a little bit closer than the Exos, which I like. And the hip belt is nice and padded. And it has pockets for the first time ever. So that's a huge game changer. Hip pockets? Yeah. Yeah, that, is, that will be nice to get in and out of those. Something I've always wanted and uh, I don't know, I just like the features, the little added stuff on the Gregory. And what weight are you coming in at today? 30. 30 pounds for the Optic, Gregory Optic 58? Yep, and it's uh, made, uh, the top end is about 35 compared to Exos, which top end is about uh, 30. So that's another reason I chose it. So you can put a little bit more weight in it if you want? Yeah, if you have to carry a bunch of water, not a lot of water on the trail. Uh, but it's a great pack so far. Nice, man. Love it. Awesome. There you have it. We'll get into more detailed reviews on those two packs. Hey. Take a look down here, ladies and gentlemen, and view Midnight Hole. We're about ready to do some rock jumping, can opener, bung hole. Oh, right here. Midnight Hole. Whoa. Tell me, how you, how you enjoying the trip so far, man? Only thing to make it any better would be a beer in my hand. Okay. Well, you've got about 12 in your backpack. Want me to grab one for you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys went up. Shane, what's that? How'd you lose 53 pounds? Clean eating. Excuse me? Clean eating. Cleaning. 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 He's a real neat freak, this guy. 
clean, clean what? Clean out the fridge, clean out the basement, just clean out all the garbage in your life and, and find your inner chi. And uh, less cheese, more chi. Well, what is your nickname? Cheeseburger. Chi burger. Chi burger. <laughs> chi burger. Cool bunch of chi burger, right? <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Backpack problems. Uh I got this thing hooked up wrong. It okay. needs to go through one of these. Backpack problems. Oh, okay. This I segment. Got I got this. This you segment got is yeah. about backpack problems. <laughs> Man, that's backpack tight. Problems. It was tight. I'm gonna edit this, but we have stood here for 20 minutes while you fix this thing. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for waiting, guys. Not a problem. We're coming across our first sighting of another group of animals like ours. <laughs> but just right ahead here, I'll show you when we get a little closer. Be careful, they have some of their young with them. They might be aggressive. Okay, here we go. Here's on? Yep. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Look at that, are you worn out yet? No, not yet. No? Hi. We have the Gregory Paragon 58, is that correct? That is correct. So I was uh, at the old re -I, re -I, re -I, re -I? recreational place and uh, walking around looking at a new pair of shoes, which I didn't get, and I saw this, this fella Hi. in the store there. This yeah. was yesterday, probably. Spur of the moment, day before the trip, bought a new pack. The Gregory Paragon 58. So far I like it. Of course we're only 12 minutes into this. Yeah. We'll check back later and see how we like the features and the functions of it. But right now we're excited, adrenaline's going and we're having fun. Yeah. And also it must be working because he's leading the pack. He bought a three pound pack. It's not the lightest of the Gregory's, but it is comfortable, right? Very comfortable? Very comfortable. And he's only features. And he's smart, he's only rolling with a 25 pound weight on it. Maybe 27 with no. No, you only have, uh, so I was 25 dry. 25 dry, so well, that's what, including food. Bottle. That's including food, but no not water. water, if you don't know what dry is. Right, including food, no, no water. And you're ending up at what, I think 27 pounds, 26 pounds? Uh, yeah, what's a liter weigh, about 2.2 or something? The man knows his stuff. All right, awesome, so hey, we check. we'll get back with you. Yeah, because we're gonna go check out this river. Check this out. 
Hey Tinch, can you put your butt the other direction? Tinch, no, the other direction. The opposite direction. There you go, now get down and do that. There's no good water there. Well, whatever. <laughs> what are you doing to me? I'm not trying to take a mud bath. Almost like. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we decided to come off trail just a little bit and make sure we can check out these wonderful views and waterfalls. Oh my goodness, I mean, it is, uh, this is this is what we're here for. We're moving and hiking. Yes, we have 5.2 um, miles to go, so we might as well stop and enjoy the scenery, enjoy life. I mean, this is hike life, right? So as we're hiking, let's enjoy this stuff. It's so cold. It feels nice. Man, I love to drink this water. I mean, it's just white water rushing. I know I'm not going to. I mean, I'm going to drink it. I'm going to filter it first, but I'm going to drink it. Oh, it just feels so good. It feels so nice. Mm. It tastes like glacier wonderfulness. It's not glacier water, though. It's just... Ah. So slippery! Oh, oh, super slippery! Super slippery! Be careful, Trout! What are you doing? God. Oh, oh, I did it! So look how gorgeous this is! I mean, just look at this view. We have a giant boulder here, and then if you come over here, look at that! Just look at it! This is what the Great Smokies are all about. This, this is what it is. Beautiful views, wonderful rushing waters. I'm at peace with myself already, just feeling that relaxation. All right, time to put the pack back on, go up, get back to hiking. We've got at least five miles to go. I think we've gone about 0.2, so here we go. So this is a prime example of how a DSLR camera would just benefit this situation so much more. I mean, it still looks pretty good on this camera, but I'm just saying, like, how, mu how much better would it be on a DSLR with the right lens and the buttery smooth backgrounds, capturing those water, the rapids going over. I mean, look, you can see them from here. Do a quick shot, quick pan right over. You can see them, but you can't get real close and nice and juicy on it. You find it? Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, hill there, hill there. Whoa, whoa. Hi. Hi. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Look over my shoulder. Oh, look at this. It's a whole heart. I think it's only half a heart. It's half a heart. So now I'm at the end of the pack here. Sometimes. That's where you end up when you do all the, the video in. Then you play catch up and you're out of breath for 20 minutes. But it's okay. I can do it. I have the willpower to get through it. That's all that matters, right? Stay mentally strong, stay physically strong. You can power through anything. Even half a heart.
It's time for Choose Your Own Adventure! Alright, everyone watching, do you think we're going to go right or left? Put in the comments below right now, do you think we're going to go right or left? Alright, here's your chance. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, looks like we're going, wait, looks like we're going left it is. Looks like we're going left, right, it's right there, the dead end, right into Troy's face. Right into my face. Right into my face, he said. So left it is. If, uh, if you got it right, congratulations. Look for actual contests here in the future with giveaways for gift cards and other things coming soon to Hike Life. That was just a small challenge just to let you know we've got some gifts coming to you soon. That's good. Hiking problems! Hiking problems! Look at this guy. He's got backpack problems. He's got shoe problems. <laughs> Now he's going one liner and one non liner. That seems like a smart decision. Well. And uh, he's got backpack problems again. Here, I'll hold that for you. There you go. <laughs> hey, um, you want to say hi to anybody at home? Hmm. Does anyone watch these things? <laughs> <laughs> hi, Airline. Hi, Becky. Oh, Becky's his girlfriend. And her daughter loves Hike Life. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry I had to do that to you guys. Sorry I had to do that to you. I'm definitely gonna put that in slow motion. <laughs> Whoa. There's a nice little rapid right over there as we're hiking down the trail. It's pretty much, we've been following this big giant river the whole time, which has been nice. Uh, keeps, it's nice and cool here, very, very humid, uh, but the sights and the views are gorgeous. I mean, I really love it when you come to the Smokies because you get to see these amazing views and you get to see, I don't know, something you can't see in Kentucky, something that you can only find in, in Tennessee or North Carolina or both because sometimes you cross back and forth. Anyway, action. Oh, 
So I just wanted to show you what some of us stop and have for lunch. Shane is eating a cereal in a bag with powdered milk and you add water to it and it basically becomes a cereal right here on the trail. Yeah. Good stuff in it too. Black granola type stuff and, and some raspberries, strawberries. <laughs> hard. So it's hard to hear him but he said you have to make yourself a little red leaders having Peanut butter, and jelly. peanut butter and jelly tortilla. What are you having, sir? Peanut butter on a tortilla with honey. Peanut butter and on a old tortilla. Old India Pale Ale. <laughs> Got one of those beers out of the bag finally. That was good, man. And what'd you have? Uh, crunch nuts. I'm eating my sandwich. I don't know what those are. Crunch nuts. We um, have a little problem here. I just want to point out uh, behind me. Oh, no, not that way. This way. These two guys decided to buy the same shoes. Look. <laughs> Same shoes. <laughs> Brothers. Turn it off. Same pants. Same Turn pants. It off. Turn it off. Okay. So, uh, my buddy's not feeling that great. And uh, I didn't want to film it because, you know, sometimes it's embarrassing to, to not feel good. But he's, uh, he's concerned that he's got some heart issues. We're all getting a little older. So I'm gonna try to carry this pack as best I can, as far as I can. We only have one mile until our campsite. So if I could, if I could get this thing a mile, it's probably gonna be a miracle if I don't have a heart attack myself. Jeez. It's, uh, it's not on there the best, I'll tell you that. But we'll see what we can do. I'm just gonna take, I'm not really taking my time right now, I'm actually moving pretty quickly. I need to slow down and get off this camera and carry this thing. I just wanted to inform you that I will be carrying this can this bag. I'm gonna give you I'll be carrying this bag here. Hey, what's up? I wasn't gonna let you go alone. Oh, the thanks. last thing we need is you if something happened to you too. I'm good man. I'm gonna try to carry this thing as far as we can. Good thing I have a friend right. that's gonna help me carry this when I run out of energy in about 10 minutes. Yep. Or if not sooner. Alright. Let me focus on Karen's pack. I'm already starting to breathe heavy because I'm talking to you guys. But I love you. Thank you so much. I'll do anything for a subscribe button right now. Just kidding. This is not what that is. All right. Back to you guys. Wow. It's a beautiful day out here. This is what hike life's all about, folks. You gotta get there. Going downhill for the first time today. Downhill. Downhill. Waiting the mission. So we made it to camp. It was quite a trek. Thank you so much for my good buddy Triz right here to come along with me. Uh, Snuffy's pack made it, my pack made it, and Triz's pack. The other guys are behind us. Uh, hopefully he's okay. We move forward the one mile versus back to four miles and we're, we're hoping that's the right decision. So we're gonna go ahead and start and set up our basic camp here, get things started. But what I really wanna talk to you about is is earlier in this I talked about willpower and the, the fortitude to to change things in your life change small increments of your life to make your life better and how it's a constant struggle and it's a constant goal and it's a constant thing and um, that right there was different it was a mental fortitude in a different way I had to I had to dig down deep go the whole way it really was one mile one mile we took one break on the one mile and I, I forced myself to do it. And it was heavy, his bag weighs 23 pounds, plus the 25 that I have on my back. There you go, you're somewhere around 45, 50 pounds. So I could carry a 45 pound pack, I've done it before. I don't like to do it, which is why I travel ultra light. 
but in case of emergency in need of uh, and to help a friend and Jason is a very good friend of mine he was also in my wedding uh, I'll do anything I'll carry all 200 and something pounds of him on my back if I have to that would super suck please don't ever make me do that Jason uh, you know I love you though man but yeah the mental fortitude, the willpower to move forward in life and make these changes are just little tiny struggles that if you can overcome, you'll live a better, stronger life. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. That's, that's, I'm developing a new version of me. And uh, so far, I like the person that I'm becoming. And I hope that I find someone that also likes it and someone that wants to share this, this journey of life with me because uh, I'm a, I feel like I'm a very interesting, loving, caring individual, very charismatic kind of guy. Maybe I'm not. Maybe you, think, maybe you think differently. Don't answer that question in the comments, please. But uh, yeah, it's, life is a journey. Life is a hike, and I'm living this hike life. And right now, we just made it to our beautiful campsite. Uh, I'm going to set up camp. I'm going to pick out my trees, figure out where I'm going to be. But just so you know, there's this sign, which I'll show you in just a second. In five, four, three, two. So there it is, the bear sign. So basically saying that there are active bears in this area. We knew that coming in. Uh, we are prepared to hang all of our food, deodorant, shoes, socks, anything that smells. Definitely hang your shoes for bears. Let's let's cover this really quickly. Let's take a second to, because this is a real this is a real thing. Bear attacks are no joke. So let's take a second to cover this. When you're out in the woods, animals have first right. That's just how it is. And I'm gonna stand up because this is a, I'm in an awkward crouching position. So I'm gonna take this sign out of the frame. But just know that I want this sign to be in the frame because it's a real serious thing. Danger. Bears are active in this area. That's a that's a thing. But as I'm walking back to camp here, let's talk about it. Bears are attracted to human trash mostly. Bears are attracted to the food that you have in your bag. Also, your shoes uh, develop a salt to them that bears look for at certain times of, of year, certain seasons. So you want to make sure that you use this system right here. This is a bear bag system or a bear hanging system. So you can see this here. And it goes all the way up. It's hard to see, but basically you hang your bags I'll probably hang my whole backpack on this tonight with my shoes in it with my shoes in it so that way everything's away from me except for me and my hammock my underquilt and maybe maybe a couple uh, like a knife or some kind of a stick my hiking stick things like that but yeah I see the guys are coming here that's enough about bears let's see how they're doing what's up how you doing, man? Doing good. Is Jason okay? I don't know. But Shane's right behind me. He's probably 300 yards behind me. Okay. I just go and then sit back, wait for him, and then go. Did he seem better when you left? He was moving. So I don't want to put too much of it in, but it sounds like Jason's moving forward in our direction, which we just came from. I wish I could have filmed this. That's a cool bridge with some water behind us. We just came from that direction back there. You can actually see Shane. Uh, well, I thought you could see him. Is he hiding? Look at this, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pan on both sides of this bridge. Look here, you can see Shane in the red, in his red shirt down there hiking towards us. So look at this. Look how beautiful just that view is down there, man. That, that is a beautiful view. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better place to camp. This is our camp? This is what we get to do? We get to do this? Oh, man. I'm amped up about it. I hope everybody's okay. All right, so we are here at camp. We actually moved over a little bit from the spot that I showed you earlier. But this is my setup. So my hiking poles are here. They're set up in porch mode. So you can see I have this nice open view here. We're on the other side. I have it closed down. And then when the time comes, I can close the other side down if need be. So this is what it looks like on the back, closest to the water where I'll be probably getting wind. And then I have the porch mode in the front here. I have the porch mode in the front. So that way uh, I can see out into where the fire is, where everybody else is, and be social. 
and also be covered from rain. Here's an, a prime example of porch mode. As you can see, Matt Redleader is sitting on his front porch, enjoying life. He's got his hammock gear under quilt, 20 degree under quilt and top quilt in his Cedar Ridge. Pick this bad boy up. We have matching hammocks today. Don't mind that. But the Cedar Ridge uh, Outdoors hammock off of Facebook for 35 bucks. Guy did a great job. Loving this hammock so far. What do you think? Great. Very comfortable. Yep. You look like a hunter over there. Got your hunting hat, your green and your bright orange on the inside. Yeah. Looks good. You ever hunted? Not successfully, no. So here we have my tarp again. To show, I wanted to show you the difference between a split ridge line which is this, you can see there's not a ridge line that runs down the whole center of the tarp here, where it's actually tied off individually here. So I'm using the wasp system. So basically on the end here, just like he had, I have my Dutch hook here, and then down the line, all the way to my wasp. So that goes around. I know someone just asked me about it, so I'll, I'll get back to it, but it goes basically through the tarp, and then here, I go through this little mouth opening here and around the antenna and then hook into the wing of it. So I go through the mouth, around the antenna and then hook into the wing and dial it back. And this brings tension, allows you to have a mechanical advantage on your tarp. So I'm, I've got my, I'm maxed out right now, like super maxed out. If you see, this is the only amount of string that I have left. This is the only amount of string I have in my whoopee sling, so I'm trying to do the best job that I can with the trees that I have. I was too short from there to there, so I decided to come from there to here. Let me make sure, look at this. Now, what we want here with this Dutch clip is it's got a lot of tension on it right now. You want the tension to be on the tree, and I've also this is not supposed to be twisted, so I will go back and reconfigure this. But you want the tension on the tree, not on this piece right here. So here is Shane's setup. He's rocking a Hennessy hammock. This is the Hennessy Expedition with the bug net, which I already missed on mine. Uh, so you can see here that he did a poor job of tying it up. But uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just kidding. Oh, actually, I thought you were gonna look at. You gotta see what some of them are. Look at the. Well, look, look. Right. It's you just, can see here. He's a, is he's around. done quite an amazing job of. Uh, uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, that is a stake in a tree. Uh, I'm not sure it's doing much of anything, but <laughs> there he has it, it's holding a, up I this wonderful asymmetrical. Storm. If it rains, he's pretty much screwed. I just want him to know that. <sighs> so we just collected wood. We're sitting down for the first time today. Uh, first time I sat down, uh, some of us have been sitting down for a while. <laughs> Looks like, look how much wood we got. There was, it was slim pickings today. Would you guys agree? Oh yeah. Hard to find firewood well, out there? A plethora of wood around here. <laughs> none dry. What's that? Just none dry. No dry, exactly. Right. Did, how'd your birch adventure go down by the creek? Did you, you get some? Well, yeah. All in, so that's good. <laughs> the, probably the best. <laughs> Not yet anyway, we still got time. <laughs> We run out a little more down there. <laughs> so we found a pretty good stack of wood. Now everyone's starting to sit down, relax a little bit. And for myself, you know what time it is. It's bourbon time, folks. It's bourbon time. <laughs> Enter music here.
on your bed. 